Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shaban and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London and in today's video I'm gonna talk to you a bit about a very important topic that's quite new and that's the UK MLA. So the UK MLA is the United Kingdom Medical Licensing Exam. It's basically an exam that is meant to standardize practice and the qualifications and levels of all doctors across the UK. And it's somewhat like an equivalent to the US MLA, except not for the US, for the UK. The UK MLA is very new. It's something that is going to be administered in place of certain exams. It has not even started yet. The first exam has not been given. And that's why there are a lot of mysteries surrounding it and a lot of uncertainty. So to make your life a little easier, I have compiled all the relevant information that I could find about the UK MLA and that I know into this one video so that you can get the full breakdown on the exam. But before we get further into the video, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because over there I make videos about medical school and university. So I have vlogs, day in the life videos, videos about how to get into medical school, videos about how to survive medical school and things in medical school like this video uh, and many more things. So go check it out if you find it interesting, if you think it's something you'd like then smash that subscribe button to join me for a lot more. So jumping back to the UK MLA. What is the UK MLA? It is essentially a replacement for the final exams that all medical graduates give in the UK. Before it wasn't standardized, every medical school set their own final exams for, uh, doc for their final year medical students to qualify as doctors and now it's going to be a bit more standardized. It is also a replacement for the PLAB which allows international medical graduates, so people who've not studied in the UK, to come and practice medicine over here. So when is the UK MLA going to go into effect? Well, for medical students in the UK, it's going to go into effect in 2025. For international medical graduates, it's going to be a bit different. So from this year onwards, so the beginning of 2024, the PLAB will begin to consist of the UK MLA content, which is outlined by the UK MLA content map on the GMC website. And from next year, they will just be administering the UK MLA. That's 2025, of course. So now, what does the UK MLA consist of? Well, it has two parts. Firstly, the AKD, and secondly, the CPSA. But what does that mean? Uh, so the AKD is the Applied Knowledge Test and the CPSA is the Clinical and Professional Skills Assessment. And both of these are based on three themes and three sections, sorry, six sections that this exam has been built around. I have not memorized all of them, so I'm going to be reading them out to you. And the three themes are readiness for safe practice, managing uncertainty and delivering person-centered care. Now the six sections or domains are areas of clinical practice, areas of professional knowledge, clinical and professional capabilities, practical skills and procedures, and finally patient presentations. Oh wait, there's one more, conditions. So that should give you a broad idea of what the UK MLA is going to assess. Now let's go further in depth into each section. So firstly, the AKT or Applied Knowledge Test. So this is a computerized exam, so it's on screen, multiple choice, and uh, it's meant to test your application of medical knowledge or medical science. So basically all medical schools in the UK are collaborating together to build this exam. Uh, so they're collectively putting together resources and agreeing upon a set test that will uh, evaluate everyone fairly. In the case of UK medical students, the AKT will still be administered by their medical schools just like their final exams were. And for international medical graduates, it'll be run by the GMC and you can take it in certain test centers all around the world, uh, wherever the PLAB was available. So um, in pretty much the same locations or in the same way, you'll be able to take the AKT or part one of the UK MLA anywhere where you could have taken the plan. 
Now the CPSA is a little different. So the CPSA assesses your clinical and professional skills to measure your readiness to be a doctor. This includes stuff like consultations and ward work. So basically like testing your practical uh, skills in medicine. Again, it's run by your respective medical schools if you're a UK medical student. But if you're an international uh, medical graduate, then you're probably going to have to give this exam as it is conducted by the GMC. And that's usually, uh, oh, I read that it's taken in their test center in Manchester, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that and it might change. So do check it out. I will leave some links down below for more information and comprehensive sort of reviews of what the UK MLA contains if you are interested in reading that. Also remember as an international medical graduate, none of the UK MLA changes the English language requirements that previously existed. You're still going to have to prove your proficiency in English. Uh, whether that's giving the IELTS or any other English e exam that you are planning to give. There are also certain guidelines for international medical graduates if you've taken part of the PLAB already and now they're switching to the UK MLA. Uh, those guidelines will also be in the websites provided down below, so do check them out. And when it comes to studying for the UK MLA, well, I can't give you a definite answer for that because I'm going to be part of the first batch ever giving the UK MLA. So it's like I said, it's going to be administered for medical students graduating in 2025. And that includes me. So I'm really one of the guinea pigs. But um, I'd say just continue using whatever resources you were using. Mostly if you're a UK medical student and maybe try using those same resources if you're an international medical graduate. So these are resources like QuestMed and PassMed who've turned their finals resources into UK MLA resources now. And then you can also use certain resources like UWorld or um, medical school councils or something. Uh, something like that. I, I just checked it out and had a couple of practice papers on it. Uh, I think they've uh, released some practice questions for the UK MLA so that we can just get an idea of what it's about but uh, definitely go and check all of these resources out and just start preparing. So that was the full rundown on the UK MLA, the exam that's going to be coming up and has a lot of unknowns behind it. I hope that after this video, there are fewer unknowns in your mind and you have a bit more certainty as to what to expect, as to what the exam involves, when, when it's going to be given, whether it's applicable to you. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I hope the video was helpful. I hope it gave you some insight and if it did, definitely drop a like down below on this video and consider subscribing so you can watch a lot more videos like this one and then uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and uh, yeah, share the video with any friends, family, uh, anybody else who the UK MLA might be applicable for. Yeah, with that, I will see you in the next one.